and just like we always do about this time. Sun 752, Urban Therapy with Sun. This is your daily go get a number 92 for January 5th, 2015. Today I want to talk a little bit about restrictions and being put on punishment. Normally when we think about being put on restrictions or on punishment, we think about younger children or even teenagers that have done something to piss their parents off. They've been bad in some kind of way and they get served that punishment, which means that they get some of their privileges taken away. It could be TV, it could be it could be going out, it could be uh, talking on the telephone, it could be video games. There are a whole, a whole host of things nowadays that can put a child on restrictions. But when we talk about adults, there are adults that put other adults on on restriction and it sounds kind of crazy for an adult to get put put on punishment we're not talking about like a credit card company that will take away your ability to spend because you haven't made the proper payments or anything like that we're talking about grown men and women like in a relationship a romantic a, a romantic relationship maybe even a marriage where a woman is normally a woman now, I, I hate that that it is that way, but it's normally it's normally. Right? I I I can't front that. That's how it is, and and you know. Well, a woman will put her man on restriction from from sex. She'll withhold sex from her man because he wasn't acting right. He ain't doing something right. He ain't representing. He ain't bring home that money. He came home too late on payday and and, and messed up a couple of his dollars. Or he just, or y'all just been arguing and fighting for a while. You think he's out running the streets or cheating or something like that. So you decide that you're not, you're not going to have sex with him. When it really all comes down to it, that's a form of control. People don't like to look at it that way, but that's exactly what it is. It's a form of control. Not only that, but it's using sex as a weapon. When you use something to control somebody, that is you, that is your weapon. Regardless how you look at it, a man, a man can do it to a woman too. If the 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 uh, scales of of the sexual relationships are or unbalanced, whereas the man pleases the woman more than she pleases him sexually, and he knows that, if she don't do something that he wants, maybe he wants money from her, maybe he wants her to keep a clean house, maybe he wants her to take better care of the children, whatever the case may be, he might withhold the Johnson from Miss Johnson. It sounds crazy, but it happens. You know, it can go both ways, it being put on restriction. It doesn't always have to be sex, though. But that is one of the more popular ways that people put other people on restriction. A man might withhold money from his woman. Like, well, normally I give her free reign. I give her the credit card, let her, you know, shop till she drop, or, or uh, I give her a lot of autonomy when it comes to you know, uh, controlling the finances. But if she don't act right, maybe she put me on restriction for, for sex. Well, I think I'm going to withhold this. The, the, these, I'm going to take back the credit cards or cancel them. Or I'm going to make sure that I don't lace her with, with those, with, with, with that cash. The kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, the cash. It happens. And like I said, it's a form of control. It's a form, it, it's using your bargaining power as a weapon. And in a relationship where two people are supposed to be mature, where they're supposed to be down for each other, really, this is deplorable behavior. This is, this is unacceptable. But it happens all the time. And some people really accept that behavior. They think that it's okay. I, if, look, if I don't act right, I knew what the rules were before I got into this thing. Or should I say when I got into this thing. So I expect to have something taken away from me if I don't act right. I guess we get that kind of training from our parents from putting us on punishment when we were younger and we didn't do something that we were supposed to do. In other words, like, for example, if we bring home bad grades, which shows that we haven't been concentrating on our schoolwork yet, we know all of the songs, all of the lyrics to the songs and, and all of our albums um, are, are there in the album rack or whatever, then they might take away those albums. Like, you ain't going to be memorizing this. The, the, all the lyrics to Eric B and Rakim LL, Run DMC, Salt Pepper, and whoever, whoever. Yet you can't memorize the the uh, uh, your, your geometry work, your algebra, algebra two, elementary functions, 
You don't know how to conjugate a verb. You can't write a decent sentence or a paragraph. You can't memorize your spelling words. There wasn't no spell check back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Just putting y'all down like that. So think about it. I don't know if you've ever put anybody on restriction or punishment back in your day or currently because it still goes on. Some people some people stand stand by it like a badge of honor. Like, yo, my man don't act right. He ain't getting no ass. Straight up like that. Or, look, shorty start acting stupid. You can best believe we won't be shopping this weekend. The Walmart just going to have to deal without shorty. I ain't playing that. The pineapples. Pineapples. You know what I'm saying? Pineapples are good stuff. Yeah, I know what the Anyway, Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two, and this is your daily go get a mism number ninety two for January fifth, two thousand and fifteen. Remember, good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and anything can happen to those who go for this. So go hard, go for yours. And man, stop using sex as a weapon, money as a weapon, whatever you do, whatever you, whatever bargaining chip that you have, stop using that as a weapon. People are grown. If you don't like the way somebody is acting, you shouldn't be with them. And I ain't trying to break up no happy homes. But I'm trying to get some better understanding of some unhappy homes. You putting me on restriction, punishment. I'm a man. I'm a man. I college y'all of uh, remember Urban Therapy with Sun.com. Go to the site, register, 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 register. Register. Urban Therapy with Sun.com. Urban Therapy with Sun.com. Get at me. Get at me. Get with y'all later. Peace. Yeah, I'm in peace. Yeah, I'm in peace. Oh.